Tonight on Garage Time, we're going to show you how to bench test your control valve for your Volkswagen Auto Stick. So we're going to go ahead and do a bench test on our um, control valve for our Auto Stick. Now we had one in the vehicle; it wasn't working. It is one of the three on the bench here. It's actually this one here. But what we're doing for the bench test, we have three different control valves, and we're going to go ahead. We've rigged up a small transformer. Its output is, uh, well, let's say 15 volt, 1.2 amps. <clears throat> so when your car is running, typically battery will be around 14 volts. So 15. I'm not too worried about that and one point it's very low draw so we're just going to quickly touch it to it and see if the solenoid clicks uh, what we're doing there by touching power we'll connect the power and we'll touch the ground to it is we're s simulating exactly what will happen when you touch the auto stick when you touch the auto stick you're actually there's a micro switch and you're grounding it out and by grounding it out you're activating your control valve. So doing our research, we know that this is our plus terminal. So we have our adjustment screw up. Plus terminal is on the left hand side. Now this one has been turned, but it would still be, you can see that it, it will be that one there. So we already went ahead and got our small transformer, put ends on it, and we uh, tested the polarity, so we're positive that this is our positive terminal, this is our negative terminal. Uh, if you're not sure how to do that, plug the transformer into the wall, get your multimeter, which we have here. It's set up on DC voltage. So if you take your two terminals and we put the positive on what we believe is positive, put the negative on what we believe is negative, there's our 15 volts. Now if I switch these and put the red, which is the positive, and the negative, we get negative 15 volts telling you I have my polarity backwards so this is correct with the red as positive black as negative 15 volts and you can confirm on your multimeter we have the black one in the common or your ground so now that we have that set up we don't need those we put our ends on this is our positive end so just touch that there and now when I touch this to that terminal I get nothing now this this is the one that was not working in the vehicle so that would make sense now hopefully one of these clicks there you go so this one the solenoid is working and hopefully, hopefully this one works too. So there you go. I have two control valves that are working and the one that was in the car when we got it was not. Nothing. Okay, so that's how you test your control valve. A uh, quick little bench test. Obviously these two are good, so we're going to go ahead and install one of those in the vehicle. And that was how you bench test your control valve for your Autostick Volkswagen. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.